Peace and blessings to you, dear viewer. God, Goddess, bless you today. Thank you so much for coming to check out Cosmic Mystic. It is my great honor and pleasure to read for you. Today's video, we are going to be discussing the Sturgeon Full Moon, which happens Thursday, August 15th, 2019. The first portion of this video will deal with the astrology, and the second portion of this video will be a pick a card reading. You'll find everything you need in the comments such as the timestamps below. So, dear viewer, the full moon on Thursday, August 15th, 2019, is at 22 degrees, 26 minutes of Aquarius. It's opposite the planet of love and beauty, Venus. I'll explain to you everything. The full moon arrives one day after the climax of the Perseid meteor shower, and it has strong oppositions from Pluto and Mars. So there's a lot of heavy energy uh, surrounding this full moon. And from my perspective, it will be one of the most um, energetically impactful full moons of the year. This full moon is also unusual because it's making a very close pass to the planet Saturn. This pass is going to form what's known as a conjunction, meaning that the energies will blend together very harmoniously. While it won't be visible to the naked eye, the moon and Saturn will be within one degree of each other. I'd say even less than one degree. Hmm. The moon will also be just north northeast of saturn so i'm also seeing both of them are in the constellation of sagittarius bear with me dear viewer because i'm looking at all these charts that are on my screen so i can read to you about this in live time so to continue you can expect miracles at this time really miraculous unexpected events because we also have uranus that recently went into retrograde and then we also have jupiter that recently went direct so you're going to find a lot of unforeseen circumstances come together a lot of unforeseen blessings come to you and it's really important that you know that nothing happens by chance. So this is a great time to give gratitude and thanks to the universe in advance. Oh yeah, for all the blessings that are soon to come your way. Everyone is going to have a benevolent energy showered upon them because of all of the rough transitions and changes that we've been going through since the beginning of the year. This is also the energy of automatic awakening so a lot of your friends and family who are not necessarily spiritual are going to go through, I guess you could call it mass awakenings. So suddenly people are going to be woke, as we call it in the spiritual community. And this, this is the energy of mass enlightenment as well. A lot of people are going to be releasing old paradigms and old patterns. This includes you, dear viewers, so you may find that spiritually your practices and rituals, your consciousness begin to elevate as well. Old ways of being that no longer suit you, it's going to appear as if everything changes overnight. So some people may wake up and one morning they are sheep and they're following the masses. And then the next morning, they are children of the sun, fully awakened to divine consciousness. One morning, you know, you could wake up and you feel called to go in a particular direction, dear viewer. And the very next morning, you may make a, de a decision that changes your life completely. Studying the energy here because of the Mars and Pluto aspects, I'm going to be honest, okay? The only gnarly aspect that I see here is that there may be more incidents of terrorism and attacks on the public. We've had a lot of mass shootings recently in the United States, and this is the type of energy that may promote more, more uh, similar events. Because this is the kind of energy that's going to trigger anyone who's battling with untreated mental illness. And it may encourage such individuals to act out in a way that would cause harm. So just be aware of that, okay? Be aware of your surroundings. And if you know someone is a ticking time bomb, stay away. Just give them their space. Because this is not an energy where you're going to be able to talk anyone out of anything. <sighs> wow. Okay. Getting out of that energy. 
keep the notes up on your phone or keep a piece of paper and pen on you at all times because you're going to be having epiphanies. Lots of brainstorming and lightning fast ideas are going to be coming to you very quickly. So you want to be able to record what comes to you because it's divinely sent and a lot of these ideas are going to be huge breakthrough energy for you. This is also a time of exploring your inner truth, being honest about what it is that you want to do going forward and being very clear with how you communicate that to the outside world. It's also a time of great emotional exploration where conversations and connections of great emotional depth can be initiated. So so don't be surprised if people come up to you and express hidden feelings or deep emotional truths to you. And don't be surprised if you, dear viewer, also feel compelled to do so as well. A lot of secret crushes are going to be revealing themselves at this time. Also, if there are any lingering emotional attachments or situations in your life like relationships that should have been cut out with the recent Mercury retrograde energy and are for some reason still around in your life, yeah, you're going to find that the energies of this full moon push these people out of your life for good. So how might that happen here, dear viewer? Well... You're going to find any underlying tensions are going to increase until they get to the point of boiling over, which means you may have some rows, um, some really nasty arguments and exchanges that the universe provokes for the sake of breaking connections that no longer serve you. So the universe is like, I tried to get this person out of your life easily. And since they're still in your life, I'm going to cause a rift between you guys so that you have no choice but to part ways. So anything that's going, let it go. Don't try to stop it, whether it be a person, place or a thing, dear viewer, because it, it needs to go. OK. Hmm. At this time, many of you are in need of emotional care, affection, and love. And this need for unconditional love is going to increase in you. And because it's increasing, you're going to be attracting to yourself individuals who also have that same need. You may be attracting new partners, relationships, and friendships, which are quite the contrary to what you're usually used to. Yeah, it may seem like this is not your usual type of person, but at this time, this is the type of person that you're needing as they're going to be an energetic match to what you're needing emotionally and also what you're needing to strive forward and make your dreams come true. So to make that make sense, the universe is sending you people who will support you and love you unconditionally and who are more of an energetic match to your overall vibration and frequency, dear viewer. Also, Uranus has gone retrograde, which means that you can expect your life to completely change at this time. You can expect the impossible and the unexpected to happen. However, your life changes at this time. Yeah, yeah. However, your life changes at this time. Just know it's divinely inspired and it needed to change. So whatever is shifting had to shift for your better good, dear viewer. Don't view it as negative or positive. Uh, maintain a neutral perspective and you'll get through this energy really easy. Also, Jupiter recently went direct. So you can expect a lot of clarity. You can expect to live in your truth freely and openly and you can expect to feel a lot more joy and happiness as your luck is going to increase synchronicities will increase and your life just feels like it's beginning to ease up and go a lot more smoothly so expect events in your life to pick up in intensity and quickness and all for the better yeah lots of intense energy so for dates and times august 15th the moon is going to peak at 5.29 a.m. Los Angeles time, 8.29 a.m. in New York, 1.29 p.m. in London, 5.59 in Delhi, 
and 10.29 p.m. in Sydney, just to give you time frames so you guys can uh, plan accordingly. So now, dear viewer, let's get straight into the shuffle for the pick a card readings. Make sure to check the timestamps in the comment and I'll fast forward through the shuffling. See you soon. Welcome to the pick a card portion of your reading, dear viewer. We're going to have three selections today. I'm going to be reading on what's coming into your life, what's going out of your life, what you need to release and let go of. I'm also going to be reading on how um, these full moon energies are going to be affecting you in the realm of relationships and the people around you. Also, I feel like I want to also read on what's coming in, what you can expect. I'm going to use more than one deck so that while we only have three piles, because some people complain and want me to make piles of six or seven, but they are not um, the ones who have to sit here and make the videos for seven hours because that's how long it would take to do that and I guess you know I shouldn't take care of my home or feed my children or educate myself or work my side job or my career so just screw my life okay and then also for those of you who come with the hate I will flex on you <laughs> block you goodbye okay I come with love and light. If you cannot reflect that back to me, I ain't got time for you. God bless you. God has helped you. So dear viewer, we have three piles. I will use multiple decks of cards. Therefore, I can get an abundance of messages. I pray that this reading is appeasing for you. So for option number one, we have the Organite Pyramid. It's full of everything from citrine to turquoise to amethyst. It's beautiful. It's got gold in it, the organite, of course. We have option number two, which is the clear quartz crystal heart. And we have option number three, which is the rainbow mala. So dear viewer, I'll take a picture of them so you can get an even better view to make your selection. Go to the comments, check the timestamps there to fast forward to where you wanna be, and I'll see you soon. The reading may or may not resonate with you. If the reading doesn't resonate as you're listening to it, it doesn't make sense and you feel that it doesn't apply to your life, please move on. And I say that with love so that you can find one of the amazing readers on YouTube who will resonate with you, dear viewer. It's normal for some parts of the reading to resonate and other parts of it not to. However, if the reading is for you, you won't have to force it to make sense. It will naturally apply to your situation in life. Dear viewer, if you chose pile number one, the Organite Pyramid, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to be petitioning today as I read for you, shuffling multiple decks of cards, what you're going to be releasing, retaining, receiving, your surroundings, what you need to be giving, what's going to be beginning, and your lesson as it all pertains to the full moon energies i'm looking down because i'm looking at the spread so that we can keep the reading to the topic and not to waste your time dear viewer so when you see me look down i'm just reading the spread anyhow i'll fast forward through the shuffling see you soon So pile number one, welcome to your reading. From time to time, you'll see me look at my phone. It won't show up for you, but what I'm looking at here are all of the questions that I petitioned God Goddess during the reading. So as to understand the cards that are coming out to me as pertaining to the question that 
I petitioned. So I've prayed and the energy is good. Let's begin your reading. The very first thing I asked was, what do you need to release with this full moon energy? Things you should be letting go of in your life, right? So for my playing cards, I have the four of hearts. For the tarot, I have the two of pentacles and the chariot. The four of hearts is reversed. I don't know how well these will show up with the background, but these are your cards. So things you should be letting go of in your life, okay? Part of this is about releasing control, right? Because with the four of hearts and with the way the chariot, with the way the warrior is holding on so tightly to the reins of his horses as they're trying to go in different directions, that is um, predominant to me because we also have the two of pentacles, which talks about being of two minds when it comes to making um, a decision. <coughs> oh, and many of you don't want to speak up about some things there are some things you don't want to hear i'm an empath guys so when my throat locks up like that during a read it's a reflection of the energy i'm picking up on i know how that feels to have to clear your throat chakra but that would be very helpful for for many of you there are various different ways that you could do that but speaking up Maybe hearing truths, even if it's not necessarily what you want to hear, or having to tell someone a truth, even if you don't want to. And it's, it's a general reading, so the energies can go both ways. But with this coming out and things that you should be letting go of in your life, I feel like there are some things you need to get off of your chest. And I also feel like when it comes to um, your decision making, you guys are not really trusting the, the opinions or influences of people outside of yourself. Maybe you consider slightly what they have to say, but you are the captain of your own ship here. And so in the end, ultimately, you will have to make the decision. Also, I'm being directed towards the crescent moon here that's on the tip of the chariot's wand. So I have to say that towards the end of the month of August, as August transitions into September, let's say around the beginning of Virgo season, August 23rd, many of you will have to have made a decision about something very important or a very important decision will be made in regards to you. However, I feel that with this being in the position of releasing and letting go, that's when many of you are going to start to see start to see your energy pick up. Maybe some of you have been denied a lot of things, you know? emotionally and materially over the past four months and it's because you're being pulled in so many directions and there's so much energy that had been happening around you you couldn't really make up your mind about what to do because there was so much else you had to focus on so there was like previously a lot of compartmentalizing Right? Am I saying that right? So what I'm trying to describe here is, you know, having so many conflicting energies around you, but only being able to focus on one at a time. So that's fleeing from your life now. Also, many of you are not wanting to make up your minds about something here. But towards the end of the month, you're going to be forced to make a decision on which direction you want to move forward in. It's good because I see where you've taken your time to really think and consider on which direction or which direction to go next or how you want to proceed forward with very important decisions. I say that because with 
with it being the two of pentacles, the decision that you make here with it being pentacles, dear viewer, it will be long lasting. It will have long lasting effects. We're talking years. So many of you are letting go of years of habitual behaviors that no longer serve you, heading in totally new directions. And many of you are releasing a need to be perfect. <coughs> Please pardon me. I just feel like you need to speak up, dear viewer. There is a lot you need to get off of your chest. And then once you make your decisions, stand firm in them. Don't allow anyone to sway you. And if you find that someone is impeaching upon your boundaries, right? They are just stepping on your toes in some capacity. Say no. Speak up. You have the right. It is your birthright to block anything that you know is going to steer you off of your course, trusting your internal knowing over the opinions of me, your friends, family, anybody. Okay. <laughs> wow. So now the next question I asked was things you should be holding close to you. All as it pertains to how you're being affected by these full moon energies. You have the Six of Diamonds. It's upright. You have the King of Swords and the Tarot. Six of Diamonds in playing cards. King of Swords and Tarot. And Seven of Cups in Tarot. So here we are getting into all of this um, energy. Some of it, you know, has been very festive and celebrative. Others of you, it has been uh, family obligations career obligations, just things everywhere. So much that has to get done in a short amount of time. So things that you want to be holding on to you with the King of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And then I have the family atmosphere here with the Six of Diamonds. Dear viewer, are you expressing gratitude for all the things that you have are you taking a step back to be objective i'm asking because i feel that there is so much good and bounty around you that if you do not focus on those that 20 percent of things that didn't go right and instead focus on that 80 percent that did work out for you i feel that you have a lot to be thankful for and i also feel that I'm focusing on the flowers here in the six of diamonds. Maybe you can or cannot see it. I, I don't know, but it's coming to me as someone giving their flowers. And so I feel that you have good benevolent energies around you, helpful people who love you and want to see you do well. But with the king of swords having his back to this card, I have to wonder, are you so focused on that which doesn't matter that you are not focusing on that which truly does? So that coming out in the position of things you should be holding close to you, uh, gratitude for all that is working out for you, giving thanks for what you do have and what's, what's positive, just focusing on what feels good. You know, not neglecting responsibilities or, or being unrealistic, but, you know, saying simple things like, hey, I'm really grateful that that worked out for me or that I was able to accomplish this at this time. Okay, hold close to you that which you are grateful for. Also hold close to you those individuals who wish you well, who offer to help you, who want to see you <clears throat> strive and succeed. I'm just focusing here on the King of Swords, dear viewer. I don't know how well it will come through, but I'm going to lean forward a little bit. See where I'm pointing to there with the crystals? 
and they're pointing into his neck. I just really feel like you guys have got to speak up about something. If this resonates with you, then you are definitely going to know. And if it doesn't, I may not be picking up on your energies and I love you anyway. Maybe next time we'll pick up with each other. So thirdly, dear viewer, I petitioned receiving energy, things that are coming into your life. I have the, it's just the zero card, right? In this playing card deck, but I always see it as the full because zero is always associated with fresh, brand new energy for me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Just my throat. I feel like I can't talk. <sighs> Empath life. <laughs> All the light workers out there are like, yeah. <laughs> Just give me a moment. I may edit this out, okay? <clears throat> <laughs> okay Ooh. okay dear viewer I had a sip of that good Turkish coffee so in the third energy I have the full card from the playing deck or the zero card I have the knight of swords and I have the ten of wands What's coming into your life is a time of, this is the energy of being studious. It doesn't matter where you are in your life in terms of your age. These readings are for adults, kids, 18 plus. So it doesn't matter where you are in age, in maturity, in, in your time of life, whether you are youthful still you are well into your adulthood or you are now an elder okay so much brand new sweeping energy is going to be coming to you especially towards the fall season if you're in the northern hemisphere and i believe that's the springtime if you're in the southern hemisphere of the world correct me if i wrong if if i am wrong um, but I feel like you're going into new territory. New experiences are coming. New people are coming. It sounds cliche, yeah, but there's been a kind of mundane, boring energy, like a lot of toil type of energy, hardworking energy about your life in the months previously. And now this is the Ten of Wands highly aspected. So here he releases all of those wands and drops the load. And he's set free because there's a feather here at the top of his hat. So you're going to be taking flight. Literally, many of you are going to be doing world travel or extensive traveling. That's going to have a huge impact upon your consciousness your perspective, how you see reality as it is. You're going to be having some change of thought about people because here in this card, the fox's eyes are purple. So that's seeing your reality, seeing people, individuals, the situations that are happening around you, interpreting them from a higher perspective as the color purple deals with spirituality, royalty, higher knowledge you see so with the purple being in the eyes i feel also with the knight of swords experiences actions that you take places that you go have such a profound effect upon you also there's going to be a huge releasing energy many of you are going to have a good cry or a good laugh that helps you to release a lot of energy that's been pent up I feel the release of burdens, but I also feel a studious energy, meaning, you know, it's going to require you to open your mind. 
to new things, to also be willing to entertain perspectives that are different from your own. What's coming into your life is a lot of release. Release for the purpose of growth so that you can begin new cycles. And I also feel like what's coming into your life are situations which will force you, dear viewer, to have to stand up for yourself, to have to speak with authority, and to stand by what you say, to be willing to apologize when necessary, but also to be willing to not accept mistreatment, bullying, with the Knight of Swords here and the King of Swords. No bullies. No, it's not okay. And you must... You must be aware that the universe will bring you experiences which are there to strengthen you and to strengthen your resolve. Because I feel that in the future, you will be called to be an advocate for others. So now you're going through advocacy training yourself, you see. Okay, so in the fourth position, I am focusing on the surrounding energies. We prayed and petitioned during the shuffle because, you know, you're here with me in spirit. So when I say we, I'm talking about you and me. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm spiritual, but I'm grounded and present here, okay? Okay, so... With option number four, how the world around you is affecting you, dear viewer. I have the three of hearts. It's upright for the playing cards. I have the moon and the moon in two separate tarot decks. It's amazing. You guys are really being heavily affected by the energies. And out of all the decks that I could have chosen, I pick the decks that have full moons as the moon representation. Because it's not always full in, in other decks, you see. Ha! Ah, collaboration energy also with the three of hearts. Collaboration in this world. And because of the way that the card is drawn, and it's a lot of green in this card, so it's going to blend into the background, but I'll put it up there anyway. The way that the, I see the card, it's help in the material world from people. Your relationships are very important at this time, but it's also help from spirit. So how is, how is the world around you affecting you? I mean, what do they say? Everything goes a little bit cuckoo when the full moon is in effect right you guys may be witnessing uh, friends act out of character you also may be finding that people who had hidden intentions are revealed at this time you see straight through them ah shay i love it use that intuition yes okay and then you may also see that uh People who, because I'm focusing on the heart and the pink energy here, people who have some really deep emotions come forward and you're like, whoa, I wasn't aware that you felt that way. Or maybe you have a friend, an association, something that is platonic, and someone really comes forward and tells you how something that you did unbeknownst to you might have saved their life, changed their life, helped them in some kind of way. This is the energy of reparations. So people are going to be coming back to you and paying back to you the goodness that you extended out towards them. But with the double moon energy, it's like you had no idea. Now, what's going to come back to you is going to depend, dear viewer, on what you've been giving out. What, uh, you know, because the, the universe does not care so much about what we say as much as it cares about the vibration that we give out. It aligns itself and comes into attunement with our frequency. So what frequency 
have you been giving? Because that's what you can expect to receive. I also feel that in terms of how you're being affected by the energies, dear viewer, it's just like lots of cray cray, yeah? Because I don't want to offend anyone who lives with any type of mental illness or anything that is an emotional uh, affliction because I feel and I love and I don't want to offend anyone. So what I'm talking about is people acting out of character, you know, and um, you're just kind of observing all of this because it's the moon energy. It's a very passive energy. So you're just like, really? Did that just happen? Did I just hear that? Did I just see that? Whoa. Okay, it's this kind of vibe. That's what I'm feeling for you. I love you all. Forgive me if I've offended you. Okay. Next, we ask the giving energy. What you should be giving to others. I got the nine of hearts reversed for the playing cards. I got the ten of cups and the page of pentacles for the tarot. I only read playing cards in reverse. I read everything else upright. If there's a gnarly message, a neutral message, the tarot can get it through to you in the upright cards if you give it a chance. I just know because a lot of you comment that you're learning tarot, so I just want to share that with you. Sometimes reversals can be overwhelming and it can really suck your energy. So be aware of that. Now, with the nine of cups in reverse coming out in this, po this position of what you should be giving. With the ten of cups and the page of pinnacles. Okay, what you should be giving is less of your emotional energy. Careless. Not about people, like it's not telling you to have less humanity, but it's saying that with the nine of hearts in reverse, there's an over um, giving, an overextending of your energy. And it feels like people don't uh, give you back that same energy in return. And it feels like with the page of pentacles, you could make better use of your energy by do, by um preserving it so that you can devote it with nine of hearts towards your dreams and wishes yeah towards your own happiness and fulfillment with the ten of cups here for sure because i feel like you're giving yourself to others and they need to be self-sustaining for them you know and you you be responsible for you now, I'm not telling you to neglect people or responsibilities or anything. You can still be very helpful and present for people without allowing people to drain you. You have to take care of yourself, dear viewer, because what can you give from an empty cup? Your cup must be full and then you have plenty. And not only for everyone who comes to... to connect with you but also for yourself and what you want to build and grow for you because your dreams and wants are important too and anyone who just comes to take and take and take you know it's uh gotta go yeah so what you should be giving to others is only what you can give and then affirming boundaries for what you cannot. Yeah, this is the time to speak up. You guys are going to be really promoted to say no. No is a complete sentence. I'm really getting this vibe as we get closer towards the end of your reading, dear viewer. And now I feel like my throat is clearing up and I can speak again. What do you know? I don't know. So getting into the sixth position, I have beginning, right? Something 
new that will begin soon. I have the Eight of Spades, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor. The Eight of Spades is upright. So... For those of you who are going to be entering into, I'm not picking up undergraduate, I'm picking up graduate type programs, I'm picking up medical school, law school, uh, master's programs, business school, PhD programs, um, assistant, associate professors of higher education who are just beginning their careers as professors, congratulations to you. That's all beginning here. Remember, it's a general reading, so I'm picking up on thousands of energies, and that does apply to a great portion of you. For those of you who are going to be announcing that you're going to be running for politics, you are going to be entering into some type of campaign or competition, could be sports, could be in the realm of the media, and like I said, politics, you're going to begin to attract to you those individuals who are going to help to steer you towards the direction of, of success. So there's a lot of brainstorming energy here, and that will be beginning soon. You're going to be making announcements, accepting offers, also, many of you are going to be entering into long-term contracts, collaborations. Make sure that you go, dear viewer, and don't just sign it, okay? Have someone who has the knowledge to understand the language of that document. Make sure someone oversees that for you. Don't just blindly enter into anything because... She's blindfolded here in this card, but there's too much at stake here with the Emperor and the Three of Wands. And with the blindfold there, some people may want to manipulate the language of contracts. So as so as it so as as for it to per be perceived in one way, right? But if you were to take this to the courts and it, and it needed to be amended or, or dissolved legally, which would definitely ensue or entail some type of fight, okay? If that needed to happen, the way that a judge or a magistrate would look at the document and the way that the document would be argued, it... It's a manipulation of the law. So m my computer is going to die in a second. I'm going to get this out and then I'm going to pause it and come back and finish. So with that being said, dear viewer, it's very, very imperative that you have someone with, with the knowledge to translate the language of any legal documents that you have these documents looked at before you sign them and that you think once you think twice and you think again before you sign your name to anything because it will be long standing. You will not be able to get out of it. And you may be obligated or responsible for such a long time that you want to make sure what you're getting yourself into is really for you. Okay, now I'm going to get the charger. And I'll be right back. Thank you for your patience. Okay, dear viewer. Now for the seventh position, the seventh question that I had for this reading, I decided not to um, use the tarot or the playing cards because I really wanted to get you a direct message. But I didn't feel called to use any of the um, oracle cards that usually come with like those heavy hitting messages i felt like it's best to keep the energy light so i have some very direct oracle cards here that i'm just gonna shuffle on camera i'm not gonna fast forward through the shuffle oh no <laughs> my pendant got trapped okay so what's the lesson for the dear viewers who chose pile number one. What's 
extra lesson for the good viewers which was fine on the big one. I'm getting multiple messages for you. And then you will take what applies to you, dear viewer. Okay. I will read them to you as they are. Message number one. I can change my patterns when I change my mind about them. Number two, obsessing over the outcome of a relationship gets in the way. Instead, I let go and I allow. Number three, when I move my body, I bust through all the blocks. When I move my body, I bust through all that blocks me from my true health and vitality. Number th four. Sometimes no is the most loving response. Guys, guys, oh my gosh. I love you all so much. Didn't we just say this? We just said this though. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I just love, I just love it. Okay. Sometimes no is the most loving response. And your final message. I share my light with the world. Shine bright, dear viewer. I pray that everything you touch be with the Midas touch. If you liked this reading, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Thank you so much for coming to check out Cosmic Mystic and giving me the great opportunity to read for you. I pray that God Goddess, your ancestors, your guides, and your way showers protect you, love you, and guide you through these energies. And until we meet again, dear viewer, I sincerely wish you the absolute best. Ashe. If you chose pile number two, welcome to your reading. So dear viewer, I'm going to be bringing my phone into the frame from time to time. I'm looking at the questions that I'm going to be petitioning so that we can stay on the topic of the reading and make sure we get everything answered for you. So I'm looking down here at the questions now and to sum it up so you can see if this is a reading you're interested in. We're going to be reading on what you're releasing, retaining, receiving, your surroundings, what you need to be giving, what's beginning, and your lesson at this time as it pertains to the full moon energies of August 15th, 2019. So I will fast forward through the shuffling and I'll see you soon. So pile number two, who chose the clear quartz crystal heart. The very first question that I petitioned was about releasing energy, things you should be letting go of in your life. I got, just going to put my phone down here. I got the queen of clubs, the ten of swords, queen of clubs for playing cards. And then for the tarot, I got the ten of swords and the six of pentacles. So, dear viewer, things that you are, are releasing. A lot of you have uh, recently released an important relationship with a significant woman in your life. Others of you were in periods previously where you had to learn to develop courage, perseverance. You had to learn about your inner power and the right balance of how to express that.
also many of you may have started up some type of business um entrepreneurial opportunity something that may have required you to get some type of certification something that you studied may not have been exactly what you had hoped it to be many of you with that energy are transferring out of a career or a field of study Because now that you've invested a bit into it, um, you're feeling like maybe you need to change your mind and go in a different direction. So you're releasing your commitment. A lot of you, dear viewers who chose pile number two, you're releasing your commitments to previous actions that you were taking and things, uh, people, places that you were invested in. Not an easy decision. Yeah, not an easy decision to make because I have the scales of the justice card here in this six of pentacles card. And then I also have so many swords with the ten of swords. Something with it being a bird, something that you really wanted to take flight, that you had a lot of expectation to bring you high returns or um, an equal exchange of your energy in some capacity. And many of you may just be, be deciding to uh, abandon ship when it comes to that and move on to something completely brand new. And also, uh, many of you are, are going to be cutting off some type of generosity that, that's now become some type of energy drain. So you were giving something very freely and you felt very good about giving it, dear viewer, but... Now that the energy has developed or as time has gone on, you're realizing that in some respect you're being taken advantage of here. So it no longer feels good to give so much. And um, that may have caused some discord for you. Discord, yeah. Because when... You know, when someone sees you as their source for whatever it is that they're needing, and then you decide to no longer be the source, you know, it can be difficult for people to accept. So, you know, a lot of you are releasing energies of feeling guilty for doing what's best for you or, or having individuals around you who try to manipulate you or make you feel guilty for affirming your boundaries and affirming you know what matters the most to you even if it goes against the general agreement you know of people around you also there's um, a letting go of um, overindulgence with the Queen of Clubs here and the Six of Pentacles, I see many of you are going to be going on, um, there, there will be like financial restraints that you're going to be putting on yourself going forward. Because in the past, you would have been overindulging in something, whether it be your, sp your spending or um, with all of these swords here, it could be to do with social media, um, oversharing information about your life or giving away your ideas for free. Also, many of you are wanting to develop your, your intuitive abilities and you're wanting to live open about who you are spiritually and not hide who you are for fear of being persecuted. Like you're not afraid anymore. Very confident energy to move forward. And even for those of you whom are not um, spiritually um, driven or, or wh whatever it may be, there's still this incredible drive for you to express who you are um, in, your, in your appearance, in your speech. And like to really own that and not care about the opinions of others, not care if you stand out from the rest. It's like an, an energy where all the things you are letting go of are helping you to appreciate your uniqueness, your unique individuality, and your unique inner beauty, dear viewer. So 
The second question that I petitioned was retaining things you should be holding close to you at this time. You have the Ten of Clubs, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Here we have the Queen of Rods again. I also see this Queen of Clubs as the Queen of, of uh, Wands or Rods. Yep. So twice we have the Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is happening during Leo season. It is the full moon in Aquarius. However, the moon and Saturn are sitting in the constellation of Sagittarius. So all of these energies are coming into play here. Things you should be holding on to. I feel that with the energies of Saturn and the astrological energies of this full moon, that's coming out here with the Ten of Clubs. Some of you, there are some things and responsibilities which you would rather not have to do. But you're being called at this time to be your most responsible and to persevere through even when you don't feel like doing it, whatever it is for you. It's a general reading, but I mean, it could be anything. Maybe you're wanting to start a new business. Maybe, you know, um, you are just thinking about drinking more water, going on some type of a, a special way of eating, taking a trip. It could be anything. But whatever it is, you're being called to persevere when you feel like giving up, to refocus your energies and dedicate your energies. And also with all of these coming out and things you should be keeping close to you with the Four of Cups, this is a, a time where you would do best to restrain your your emotions so that you are not provoked to an emotional outburst because i also have in this ten of clubs she's covering her mouth okay but the way that the sticks are there's still spaces so she speaks but she speaks with restraint is the energy that i'm picking up here um, hold close to you your ideas what you're going to be working on next it's not a time to really share your your plans with people because this is an energy where one is needing to protect their creative and intellectual properties also those of you who take prescription medications make sure that uh you're you are careful um i'm feeling like they need to be placed in individual containers like you need a a day by day container where you can put the pills in each month when you get a fresh refill. Uh, that's so random, but I just I don't want you to drop a pill because I feel like for those of you who this resonates with you, if you drop one, that's it. You only have one every day per month, and it's very important that you take it every day. So um, it's don't. Like and then for everyone in general, don't get so caught up, guys, that you are not um, aware of what's happening around you. And then there's a clumsy energy about you because you're thinking about so many things at one time, trying to multitask too much, possibly. Also, things to hold close to you. There's a significant woman I pick up with the with the wands here and there. This is someone who could be a. Okay, it may not be a woman. It may be a man. I'm picking up this energy. They're telling me it's an energy and not a person. So someone is going to come to you. Could be um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Could also be a Leo Sagittarius Aries. What I'm really picking up is that this is a cusper. So someone who's on the Cancer Leo cusps. Maybe like they were born plus or minus five days of July 21st. Okay, now that that's out of the way, um, this person is going to be coming to you, dear viewer, and divulging some really intimate, re intimate information about a relationship to you. You may be provoked to tell what you've been told, but you're going to be asked to be trustworthy. What you do is up to you. I, I will not, you know, I will not um, 
do that tell you what to do you know i can just tell you what i see and what you do with it if it resonates with you is is up to you okay now for the third question i petitioned receiving energy things that are coming into your life so we have the zero card, the full card, and the plain cards. And in the tarot, we have the four of wands and the king of cups. So, dear viewer, things that are coming into your life. <sighs> new love. New love is coming. Celebrations are coming. You guys are going to be getting good news about weddings, engagements, the birth of new children. And it's, it's a beautiful energy because you're not only going to be receiving this news, but you're also going to be giving good news as well. For some of you, I can tell by the shading in the cards, you're not really believing what I'm saying because it's been so messy for you in your life recently. But you will see, you're going to get good news. Also, there's going to be accomplishments with the young people in your life, whether they be your children, nieces, nephews, your students, godchildren. Or for those of you who are under 18 but still watch these videos anyway, you know I can see it, guys. Because <laughs> YouTube gives me all the stats. <laughs> naughty, naughty. So anyhow... <laughs> I also feel I'm being directed to the dot in the center of the bear's head. And then with the king of cups here representing all of the psychic energy and the intuition, I feel like it's really important for you to trust your inner knowing. The first, the first inclination you have towards something is usually the right answer. So if you are wondering about what to do, which direction to go, which decisions to make with all of these new things that are coming in. Because I feel like you guys are going to be given a lot of offers and a lot of invitations. And you're going to be meeting a lot of new people as well. This is also a good time to consider um, taking different routes. Okay, first I need to go back to that psychic energy. A lot of you are going to have really crazy dreams at this time, very vivid dreams. Um, a lot of you are also going to be having experiences which really open your third eye. And also, if you've been in a situation where you've been trying to get a loved one to change their perspective about something, they're going to be demonstrating some type of action upcoming towards you that lets you know that um, they're making a fresh brand new start in their life. So this is like the energy of rehabilitation, the energy of recovery, um, the energy of getting a second chance and and doing right with it, you know, being um, a good person, sticking to your word kind of vibes. So anyone who comes back and wants to like apologize for the past, I feel that it's worthy of a consideration because there is a significant change in this person. Whether you decide to reconcile is a whole nother subject and that's totally up to you, dear viewer. But I also feel that if you need to apologize, it would be really great. It, it would be well received at this time. Um, I don't know if you listen to the astrology portion or not, but the energies in the astrology uh, spoke to me about mass awakenings and mass enlightenment. And I feel that many of you who chose pile number two are going to be having experiences completely out of your control where God lets you know that there that that the universe is real and that there is something that lives within you and without you, meaning all around you that is um your source 
and that's greater than anything that's happening in the world here with the four of wands it's going to be really great this is deeper than seeing a synchronicity this is with the full and the king of cups and the four of wands the energy of miracles so i pray that you receive these miracles ashe okay now in the fourth question, I petition surroundings, how the world around you is affecting you, dear viewer. I got the eight of diamonds upright in the playing cards. And then in the tarot, I have the five of swords and the knight of cups. I don't know how well the cards are coming through with the background, but I will read to you nonetheless. So with this coming through and how the world around you is affecting you. With the eight of diamonds, I feel like... I feel like with the Eight of Diamonds, you guys are trying to focus on what's in most important to you and completing those tasks at hand. And you have had so much to do, not only for yourself, but for others. Things that, you know, you're not complaining about, but you still felt obligated towards. And then also there were some types of time constraints that were set on you where you had to meet deadlines or you, you know, didn't have the luxury of taking your time with something. A lot of precision. You had to be very detailed about what you've been working on, making sure as so as not to make a mistake, but to also be kind and gentle with yourself in the process. Like you got to eat, you got to sleep. You can't just be working or at the mercy and service of others all of the time because we have to keep things in balance here because with the five of swords, there's this energy of uh, conflict. Yes, but with it being see the five is about chaos energy. OK, can be chaos for the better chaos that is neutral or chaos that is perceived to be negative, dear viewer, with it being the five in the swords, this talks about conflicting energies that play that play a role in how you perceive things how your thinking is overthinking about things and also feeling like you have to do things that you really don't want to do maybe you used to enjoy them previously with the knight of cups could also be um relationships you used to enjoy hanging out with these people previously but now your way of seeing things and your thinking has shifted. And maybe you find that more you, you disagree more than you agree with the viewpoints or the way that uh, someone is thinking. Hmm. Also, some of you may have uh, the influence of propaganda at this time with the five of swords and the knight of cups. You may have individuals who are coming and trying to elaborately uh, spin something to you. And I'm using the word spin very I, I'm very careful about the words I choose because I know that this is affecting your life. You know, you listen to these readings and it's a real thing for those of you who it resonates with. So I say spin and propaganda with very um, with very sincere clarity, okay? Because I feel like whatever someone's trying to influence you into, you know in your better judgment that this is a bunch of crap. But someone is so charismatic and so um, smooth with how they demonstrate and communicate this propaganda to you that you may almost be believing it. So this is the energy of anarchy as well. Many of you are standing up um, with great force, great mental force chaos energy to say no i'm no longer going to participate in this crap you know 
this is like an energy of fighting for your your mental survival your mental sovereignty and not allowing um people with very skewed views of reality to influence you away from what you know dear viewer to be true because it's about coming from the heart and a place of love it is about um inclusion it is about diversity and that these are necessary aspects of creation we're not all meant to be the same and um any types of individuals with the sword coming down from the top who deem themselves to be um in a higher position than you and in a position of authority than you no you are born free naked and free you come into this world and naked and free you will go out of it so there may be like um protest happening i don't know guys i don't watch the news uh, i tend to hear about all of the um gnarly things that happen in the world i watch phil defranco here on youtube so i know that there are some things happening in hong kong right now but also in other parts of the world um you guys may be noticing political tensions unrest and like maybe the beginning of uprisings in the environments around you and hey don't let anyone tread on you dear viewer I know, easy to say coming from the Yankee American, but don't let anyone tread on you. <laughs> I'm like so passionate about you guys being free and sovereign and happy in your lives and living in your truths, okay? So I'm just going to keep going because I'm getting like a bit worked up with your reading. <laughs> yep. Say hello to my singing bowl. It is attuned to the heart chakra. What's that? 432 megahertz vibration. Sorry for those of you with um, headphones on. Okay. So to continue the fifth question was giving so i wanted to know what you should be giving to others because it's an equal energy exchange in this life that we live here in the land of polarity called earth so i have the queen of spades the temperance from the tarot and the hierophant from the tarot What you should be giving to others, the queen of spades, your great wisdom, standing up for others. When you see an injustice, speaking up about it and being willing to defend not only yourself, but someone else, because where there is more than one gathered, prayer is answered and there is great power, dear viewer. I don't know how well these cards are coming through on the background, but I will keep going. So also giving your patience with the temperance, giving the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes you may feel inclined with the queen of spades and the temperance card to speak up and say something to someone. But you may feel that with the hierophant here that it's not your place to do so or that you would be stepping on someone's toes. But you never know. You may have the right words for that person at the right time. And it could very well so save someone's life. It could very well so give them the epiphany that they need to go and branch off into something that's going to be wonderful for them and possibly humanity. Also, this is charity with discernment. So this is like charity with discernment how to explain that this is going out of your way to be charitable so rather than rolling down your window and giving uh, money to homeless maybe you want to go to a shelter and volunteer for a few hours instead as an example you see 
You have great wisdom. And I feel that the universe is going to prevent you with many opportunities to speak up. And so when you feel, uh, when you feel so inclined to say something, just do it because you have the right words to say. You are teaching here. Give your knowledge. Don't hold it within. The things that you've learned in life through trial and error, through experience. I feel that many, many people could learn from your example. I also feel that if you have some type of a uh, mastery of something or you are a healer, Consider being a tutor to young people if you have a mastery of something. Also consider um, outsourcing your, your gifts, turning a gift into a career or turning a gift into a, a, an additional source of income. Because what you will give to others will be most beneficial and what will return towards you will help to provide you with greater longevity and stability, dear viewer. And if you are, say, like working in the medical profession or you have a, a, um, a job which allows you to have easy access to the greater public, consider doing something charitable for free that could really change someone's life. Maybe you will feed a community. Maybe you'll go to the library and, you know, read to the children. I don't know. There's so many beautiful things you can do with this energy. But be giving. But to, to not to not to people who train you, though, but to like organizations, join a greater organization where you are a part and you give your of yourself for a few hours and then you go. And and that's it. It'll be very healing for you and it'll be very healing for the people who come into contact with you. So closing out your reading. I petitioned something new that will be beginning soon for you. I have the Jack of Diamonds and the playing cards, and in the Tarot, I have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Rods. So, pile number two. Invest in yourself. If there's any new endeavors or ideas with the Ace of Rods that you want to start, something that provides you with independence, with the Nine of Pentacles, or something that provides you with an outlet to express yourself to the world, do it. Some of you are needing to release something out of you that's been building and developing in you for so long. You know, in this one, she has uh, her pen to paper. Some of you are needing to write, create, express yourself. Yeah. I also feel like you are very gifted, dear viewer, and your gifts could completely sustain your life and give you a life of ease because the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress card in the minors. And with it being the Ace of Rods, it's no longer a potential of thought. It is a potential of action. Will you take the action to develop yourself? Or... Or will you not? If you do, what I see is the hand in this card, it's going this way. 
And then the hand in this card, it's making an offer that's also going that way. So both hands are going in the same direction and they're both making an offer. I feel that if you put yourself out there and whatever you're wanting to build, work on, express to the world, no matter what it may be, you are going to begin to receive offers of a lifetime that are going to come to you because you had the courage to develop your passion or share yourself in some capacity where people can find you, locate you, come to you, and collaborate with you. Everything that you're seeking, dear viewers, is seeking you. Wow. Okay, so there's a seventh position for this reading, but I didn't want to use the tarot or the playing cards because I wanted to get you guys some more direct messages, messages that I didn't necessarily need to interpret, but that would make sense to those of you who this reading resonates with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to live shuffle on camera. And as the messages fly out, I'll take them out. And once I have all of the messages, I'll read them to you. So, dear viewer, they're short and sweet and beautiful messages. And what I'm petitioning here is your lesson as it pertains to the August 15th full moon. August 15th, 2019, the full moon. As it pertains to those who chose pile number two. And these energies, what is the lesson? For those who chose pile number two. Okay. Any more messages for pile number two? So pile number two, these are your lessons, okay? Number one, I choose to interpret my fears with a more loving perspective. Number two, sometimes no is the most loving response. Say no, affirm your boundaries, guys. Number three, I don't dance around the perimeter of the person I want to be. I step in fully and completely. Be who you are. Don't hide yourself, yeah? Show all of the beauty and all of the uniqueness that is you. Who cares what other people have to say or think? They don't have to live in your shoes. They don't have to uh, walk your steps. <laughs> they don't have to go through your experiences and at the end of the day they're not going to be there to help you make the biggest decisions in your life it's always going to rely in the end upon you so you might as well live for you and express yourself for you and be who you are irregardless of others because in the end all there is is you you have to live with the results of it you might as well be happy and at peace being who you truly are, right? So, number four. I show up for myself and the world. Wow. And your final message, dear viewer? Releasing anger from the past sets me free in the present. Wow, dear viewer, that's all I've got. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. And if you like this content, then consider subscribing to the channel. I feel like I should pull one more card for you guys. 
But then I, I didn't do it for the deck before you. So that's not fair. Okay, I love y'all. I pray for everything you touch to be with the Midas touch. Okay, no one's gonna know. I pray before I pay. So spirit wants you to really tune into your intuition, take time and focus your breath and speak to God, you know, within you and without you. Speak to your creator and make sure that what you're investing in is a good idea before you actually do it. Don't just commit to anything. Make sure it's a good idea first. Okay. I love you guys. I pray for everything you touch to be with the Midas touch. And I pray for your God goddess, your ancestors, guides, and way showers to be with you, guiding you, loving you, and protecting you as you navigate and transverse these energies. And until we meet again, I wish you the absolute best. Ashe. If you chose option number three, the... Rainbow Mala, it's so pretty. I hope it comes through good. If this is your option, welcome to your reading, dear viewer. So, I'll fast forward through the shuffling, but just so you understand what we're gonna be reading on before you invest your time and your energy into the reading, I'm gonna be petitioning in regards to the full moon, August 15th, 2019 about what you're releasing in your life, what you need to retain, things that you're receiving, what's going to be coming in, the surrounding energy. If you're wondering why I keep looking down, I have the questions and the spread on my phone. It won't come through so well for you on camera, but I can see it clearly. So the surrounding energy and how the world around you is affecting you, what you need to give, what's beginning, and um, your lesson in all of this. So I'll fast forward through the shuffling. So dear viewers, okay, for those of you who chose pile number three, getting into the very first question that I petitioned, we're asking about the releasing energy as it pertains to this full moon, things you should be letting go of in your life. You got the six of hearts in reverse from the playing cards, and in the tarot you have the nine of swords and the three of swords. Hmm. I'm not sure how well the cards will come through with the background, but hopefully you can see them a little bit, dear viewer. What are you guys releasing? For some of you, it's insomnia, being unable to get any sleep. You're finally going to be able to go to bed at a time that feels more um, reasonable to your health. Finally getting rest after a time of not being able to. Also, there's energy of depression here, but this would be a seasonal variety. This would be a depression that comes and goes. Worrying, anxiety, anxiousness, overthinking. Feeling guilty, unable to move or feeling very restricted by the opinions of others, the comments that are made towards you, dear viewer, remarks that people may make. Also, maybe within this releasing energy, the ability to trust in yourself and in your ability dear viewer to make good decisions and also maybe you will have recently learned what happens when you don't listen to that inner voice that inner gut knowing your intuition you know 
and how it's best for you to trust yourself rather than to trust others. And then there are two concealed swords here. And then I have a three and the three of swords. And I have three eyes right here in the six of hearts reversed. So there would have been conflicting um, energies here. For sure, we are picking up on third party situations, but we must be clear, dear viewer, because third party is not always about people cheating. Sometimes, you know, um, there could be an obligation or a responsibility, a career, something that someone is studying that pulls away their attention from their relationships and maybe the more important important parts of life that they should be focused on like family and union and togetherness you see and you guys may have had to make decisions to let go of some people who were once very close to you who who you once were in alignment with in agreement with and had so much fun and good memories with you know but now uh, the energy has shifted and you've had to make some concessions in your lives people places things habits even addictions having to be released falling away from you and it not being an easy process it's painful because there is blood at the bottom of this sword here And there is also blood at the handle of this sword here. You won't see that, dear viewer, but I do, which also tells me that I feel many of the individuals who caused you a great pain and discomfort may have lied on you, had, may have come between um, you and what you loved. I feel that there is karmic, this is the energy of reparations as well. Karma is coming back. I really feel that all of the lies, gossip, deceit that was done to someone is now, whoever was the perpetrator of that is now being um, dealt their, their universal justice. So they are experiencing a very similar energy in return. This is eye for an eye energy. This is the energy and laws of karma. This is the energy and laws of the threefold. Uh, what you put out comes back to you. Always. If you put out misery, misery will find you every day. If you put out love, love will find you every day. So... It's, it's like a feeling of people understanding the pain that you felt. Maybe they're not attributing their current struggles to, to, to being um, justice for their past actions towards you, but it very much so is that. Okay, so now we get into the second question, which is w the retaining energy. And I asked the viewer things you should be holding close to you at this time. We have the Jack of Diamonds. It is upright. We have the Queen of Cups from the Tarot and the Knight of Cups as well. So... Things you should be holding close to you. Your ideas and your plans. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and maybe also, it's not that you shouldn't express how you feel. It's, it's an energy of refinement and of refraining oneself emotionally. Oh, I see. It's like the writing off energy. Okay, so f 
For those of you who have plans, I just needed to focus on this energy, dear viewer. Thank you for your patience because I have to be very careful here. Okay. For those of you who have plans, seeds that you have planted or are soon to plant that you want to see blossom into abundance, your creative genius, your intellectual genius, and also your relationships, those relationships which are most precious to you. Hold these seeds, these ideas, these developments close to you. Don't reveal them until they're complete. That way you keep out any unnecessary energy and you have the sacred time that you need to get things developed, going, and launched. And once everything is ready to be revealed, launched, or announced, then you tell everyone what you've been working on the whole time. Let them think and guess whatever they want, dear viewer. Because if you share too soon, there's the energy of um, that not being so wise. And that could play out in various ways, which you don't deserve, okay? Then there's also the um, energy here of really appreciating um, giving some act of gratitude as well to your loved ones, especially with the Queen of Cups and Knight of Cups, the maternal energies in your life, your mama, your aunties, godmom, any women whom are elders or close friends who have been very supportive, uh, physically present and there with you, offering love and counsel and comfort. Honor your loved ones. cherish those relationships at this time okay getting into the third question dear viewer it's the receiving energy things that are coming into your life so i keep looking down at my phone just so i can see the questions so you guys are not like what so we have the nine of spades the Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords. In the playing deck, the Nine of Spades is in reverse. So, first off, with the playing card being in, in reverse, this card in particular, because of what's been happening in previous cycles, and I'm getting that from the moon phase that's down here at the bottom, I don't know how well this will show through with the background, dear viewer, but I want you to see what I see. So I feel that in previous cycles, you've gotten so accustomed to things going a certain way that that has just become your outlook, dear viewer, for a lot of you. And you're not really expecting much else but because jupiter recently went direct and if you listen to the astrology portion of this reading you know that there's a massive shift in energy at this time and things are going to start to shift and change as if it's the luckiest of the luckiest or as if it's miraculous okay but it has mostly and mainly to do with the planetary energies that are happening around us currently so how things that are coming to you don't expect the worst because right after that card i have the ace of wands you can expect new beginnings and fresh insights okay even to things that are routine for you this is a great time to approach those things differently maybe you'll take a different direction to work um maybe you'll go to some place in your town, city, village, province, country, etc., the world, the universe, <laughs> that you've never been before and try something new. Also, um, you can expect moments of rest and respite with the four of swords here. I feel that whatever you've been battling, the battle is done and there's not a fresh one coming. Either because you do not choose to participate any longer and you remove yourself from toxicity, dear viewer, or because really there's there's no war there. It's just you needing to get some sleep and some rest and to know that 
what happened yesterday doesn't need to be a reflection of today and that every day is a fresh brand new energy and you can start again and begin anew and i really feel that with the ace of wands that's the type of vibes that are coming to you so getting into the fourth the fourth of six for this we have surroundings how the world around you is affecting you you have the five of spades reversed in the playing cards and in the tarot you have the three of pentacles in the world so dear viewer there's a lot of blue in these cards i'm not sure how well they will transfer over but here we go okay you know that your social media is being looked at with the five of spades and the world cards you may be aware that there's some type of spying stalking or lurking going on in the energies around you you also may be aware when it comes to relationships whether they be familial platonic or romantic you're becoming aware of who's really for you who really supports you and who may be an hidden, a, a hidden enemy. This is 12th house energy with the world card as well. Hidden enemies, um, people who laugh with you the whole time they secretly hate you. Kind of vibes I'm picking up here. It's really taking a good examination of what you participate in the types of environments you're around and involved and going to and the types of people whom you're associating with and what you're building towards in your career because this five of spades here can also deal with self-sabotage you know telling yourself that um, you're really happy and content with the direction that you're taking when you're really not or saying that you want to participate and work towards something with a group of people or another person when you really don't maybe dear viewer all of this is you know influencing energy around you and then there's the energy here of feeling like even when you are being transparent and honest you're still not being believed or there are issues with trustworthiness here in your relationships as well but then we have the world. So they're wanting us to know that brand fresh new cycles are coming in, including new people and new collaborations, dear viewer. So it's not to say that you need to carry the pain of the past with you, but it is to say that you want to carry the lessons of the past with you because what you learned in those relationships and connections where you thought everything was one way when it was really another is going to teach you to spot danger ahead of time going forward so that as because you have brand new collaborations brand new people coming in into your life and you know, some will mean you well and be transparent with you and some won't. And I feel that this previous cycle, what you've learned, is going to be most helpful and beneficial to you in navigating relationships going forward. Seeing red flags, knowing what to look for, not just based off of some book or article that you read, but because you've had the experience to teach you so. This is that kind of energy, okay? So now we get into the fifth question, which is the giving, what you should be giving to others. We have the seven of diamonds. That is upright. We have the nine of wands and the nine of cups. Lots of nines here. So completion energies, because in the nines, you wrap everything up. You come into your mastery um, taking forward the lessons and disregarding the rest. And then when you come into the 10, then you are 
set to begin the new cycle and start again at the one, okay? That's how I see the cards when I read cards. It's different for every reader and I respect every reader and this is how I read. So give your bright shining light. It's like the sun card there the seven of diamonds share of your happiness you know with the nine of wands you don't need to be uh, so defensive you know you can set your boundaries and still give of yourself in loving care and in freeness to others i feel that with the nine of cups also you could be making some wishes or dreams come true for other people through um, acts of charitable kindness and goodness. These are like the surprise kind where people don't see it coming, but what you give to them, be it a material possession, be it words of kindness, be it um, a, a, a neutral ear, you know, for someone to express what they need, etc. However you give of yourself in charitable goodness, I feel that is just going to be so beautiful for the individuals who receive it. And I feel like the universe is going to log this in to the, to the escrow account that you have, dear viewer, and at a future date, all the goodness that you give will come back to you when you need it the most. So I really feel now that we're getting towards the end of your reading and I'm looking at the energy overall, I feel like a lot of you are seeing the, are, are, hmm. a lot of you are seeing the effects. You're, you've had experiences that have taught you the law of cause and effect. For every action, there's a reaction. Sometimes you think something is not going to be a big deal in the moment and it ends up causing great karma because we don't always know how our actions affect others. So you may be receiving a happiness at the expense of another or someone to you, dear viewer, and then the laws of karmic justice come in. So the universe repays back to you or to those individuals around you the frequencies that they send out or that you send out. If there's no judgment there. If you don't like what you receive, you have to shift your frequency so that you can begin to attract something new. These are just the laws. You know, it's the physics of reality, you see. So, dear viewer, to finish out this tarot, and then I'm going to pull a few more additional cards for you, but I'm going to shuffle live on camera. Um, beginning, something new that will begin soon for you. You have the King of Spades, the Death card, and the Nine of Swords. For some of you, there is an air sign who has strong um, Capricorn. He may be like Mars in Capricorn or she and also has very strong Scorpio energy in their charts. Coming into your life soon, they're going to free you somehow from something that has been holding you back or blocking you in some way that's been causing you a lot of stress. Your stresses get resolved. Your problems, any problem you're having, you will come to the solution or resolution of it. It doesn't take away all of the, the experiences that you would have had to have gone through to gain the knowledge and, and wisdom that you currently possess, dear viewer. But I feel like now it's time for you to share what you've learned with others so that maybe some people don't have to suffer like you did. 
This is pure suffering here. Suffering that takes one through such a transformation that invaluable, priceless wisdom is gained. It's like someone has died a thousand deaths in one lifetime. This is the type of energy I'm picking up here, dear viewer. I have the king of spades and the death card and the nine of swords. But that's not what I'm picking up for something new that will begin. I'm not picking up bad omens for you. This is past energy that is coming into play for what will begin. And with the overall energy, I feel that now you guys are going to begin to live from a place of wisdom and discernment because you learned, for some of you, the hard way you learned in the past through great suffering, through great trials, and maybe sometimes through poor decision-making. Seeing how um, actions, yeah, you, you will begin to see how actions have a consequence, how what we say has an effect. So this is also going to begin a practice of mindfulness in you being very aware of, of yourself your space in the world what you contribute it's powerful energy Okay, dear viewer, so there's a seventh question in this spread, right? And it talks about the lessons that you're learning from these full moon energies. And I didn't want to use the tarot or the playing cards because I wanted to get you guys some more direct questions, but I didn't want to use the, the long-winded oracles. I wanted to use the ones that were short and sweet but still very powerful and effective. So I have my Miracle Now deck. I'm just going to shuffle on camera. I'm not going to fast forward it um, because the cards are going to fly out. And as soon as they stop, I will stop. So for those who chose pile number three, what should they be learning at this point? What's the lesson? Additional messages for pile number three as it pertains to the full moon energies of August 15th. What's the lesson? What should they be learning? Okay, dear viewer, so the first card you have, number one, when I respect my money, my money respects me. This could also refer to energy, so you could also interpret it as when I respect my energy, my energy respects me. So when you respect your money, dear viewer, your money will respect you. That will resonate with you if it does. Uh, okay. So then number two, <laughs> we have, whenever I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. The light I see in them is a reflection of my inner light. It's very beautiful. Number three. I can find peace in every breath. Number four, sometimes no is the most loving response. 
guys, this has come through in every single pile. Boundaries, affirming your boundaries, not doing anything you don't want to do is so important to you at this time you are supported in speaking up in your clear and loving truth okay so sometimes no is the most loving response good for you guys and your final message dear viewer i don't need to find my purpose my purpose will find me that is the truth <laughs> if i had known that I was going to be an artist, which is what I was in love with as a kid, I would have never gone to law school. I would have never done it. So I don't need to find my purpose. My purpose will find me is the absolute truth, guys. If you're feeling perplexed or maybe confused, it's going to make sense to you in the divine right timing. I know that sounds like a bunch of woo-woo, but I'm telling you from my life experience that it's the truth. And you will not be a day late or a dollar short when it happens either. Everything will fall right into place for you because it is divinely inspired for you. So trust that you're right on time in your life, even if it feels like you're too early or you're too late or you're too confused. It's just your perception of reality. It doesn't necessarily make it the true reality. So with that being said, dear viewer, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. <laughs> um, what else do I say to you? If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if no one's told you today, I love you. You are loved. You are so important. I pray for everything you touch to be with the Midas touch. I pray for you to know that your life is precious and priceless. I pray for God, Goddess, your ancestors and your way showers to guide you through these energies, to protect you and be with you, and nourish you all along the way. Until we meet again, I wish you the absolute best. Ashe.